right so in today's video i'll be showing you how to do the visual calibration for the xeno mini pro on a mac operating system first make sure to keep the safety guard on also make sure that you remove the gimbal cover as well Next, you want to use the provided mini USB data cable, which is for transferring your video files to a computer. Now we're going to go directly into the hubsyn.com website. Click on support. Once there, we'll scroll down and you'll see all of the current models available. Make sure you go to the Xeno Mini Pro model and click on the visual calibration tool and wait for the downloader window to appear. Once it appears, you can go ahead and click OK and the zip file will automatically start downloading. Next, you want to click and open the zip file which contains a folder inside of it labeled Hubsyn Assistant for Xeno Mini Pro. Inside of this folder, you'll find two other separate folders, one for Windows and another for Mac. Click on the one for Mac. Now you want to drag the Hubsyn Assistant tool onto your desktop, as well as the software package file. Uh, don't worry about this instruction file as it's not in English. I'll get rid of this as I no longer need it. And now we'll open up the software package file. Click continue, then click install. You'll have to type in your computer's login password if you have one in order to install the software package. Click install software and wait for it to install. Next, turn on the drone and wait for it to go through its startup process. Now we're going to go ahead and connect the mini USB cable to the slot that's on the back of the drone. Then connect the other part directly to your computer's USB slot. Once the drone's hard drive appears, you want to connect to the Wi-Fi and go to Open Network Preferences. Click on the Wi-Fi address that reads Sirius and make sure that your IP address and subnet mask are the same as you see here. Now you can go ahead and open the Hubsyn Assistant tool and you will now see that the drone is connected. Click the button on the bottom right to start the calibration. Make sure you hold the drone firmly as you go through the calibration steps as I show you here. The process is pretty simple. You just point the front visual cameras to the screen and slowly move the red square target over the boxes that are highlighted in blue. It does take some time to get it right, so you're definitely going to have to be patient here.
have to turn it around to calibrate the rear visual cameras. And you just basically repeat the same steps as before. After you're done, a progress bar appears on the screen to let you know that the calibration has been completed. And you're all done. Now if it fails the calibration, it's most likely that the camera lenses are dirty. So just clean them off with a cloth and restart the calibration again. Last, make sure you eject the drone's hard drive before you disconnect the mini USB cable. Turn off the drone, and that's it.